important later things for organizing this. And uh, yes, it's very actually great that um, we can talk about development, software development after the great panel about innovation in gambling and in gaming in general. So because uh, game, the gaming niche is evolving so fast and there is always a technology that stays behind every innovation, every development, virtual reality, AI, everything. So Hyperion, uh, I would say, is the leading technical company for iGaming sector. We work with lots of iGaming companies. Uh, we are a Maltese-based company with a development hub in Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we did a great research uh, and uh, we, analyzed, we understood that uh, a typical software agency having a pool of uh, bench people uh, and uh, having developers that you can get at any time is not working very well for any company, for any sector, especially iGaming that is growing so fast. So we decided to go other way and uh, here is the model with um, the traditional solution uh, business model that many company uses. They have uh, uh, agencies have, have pool of developers, uh, mostly on the bench, that you can use. And uh, uh, you have your developers, you educate them, uh, you have them work on your project. But uh, after there is another client who comes in and if you have some, um, for example, some pause in your project, your developer that you educated, that you spent efforts, time on, that your product manager, product owner worked with, can go to another project, go to another client, because maybe he pays better, maybe he has more interesting project and yours is in pause. So every business owner would say, why should I lose money so I, I earn them? So this is the traditional, typical business model, that you have talents, pool of talents, and different clients who come, they can choose from that. So let, let me summarize if I understood correctly from you and also seeing what happens also in practice. You have, you have an agency, you call it an agency, but it also can be another outsourcing company that has a talent pool. They have 40 people either sitting in Bulgaria, in Sofia, or in the Baltics, or in uh, Ukraine, where Ukraine actually became a really, really big, big outsourcing pool. And then this pool actually, as it says, working with operator A, operator B, platform B, platform C, several, all of them are working with, with several people. And you say that part of the, of, of the so the disadvantage, what, what type of disadvantage do you, do you get from that model? From this one? So from the old model, yeah. Um, there are lots of advantages that you Disadvantages. Can, dis, disadvantages. Yes. So the disadvantages that uh, you don't get people who are totally engaged in your project. Uh, you don't get, uh, uh, on a long term race, you don't get the return on investment for the people of time, of efforts, of money you spent on these resources, to educate them, to bring them to your office, to like for uh, trainings, for everything. You just lose all this thing and you have to start from zero again. So what, what, what your company, Hyperion, what, what, what does your company actually uh, do in order to solve this uh, animality? So as I said before, we decided how to go other way. So uh, Hyperion works with only dedicated software teams. Uh, we work with uh, enterprise customers, uh, as I already said, in iGaming, FinTech, uh, and uh, e-commerce uh, sphere. So we have a large experience in iGaming, and uh, Hyperion offers dedicated software teams uh, uniquely for one customer. So there is no chance that uh, uh, a developer can work on another project that is on fire, for example, even if it is on fire. So when you get your team as a customer, you have it uh, for the, all the run of a project, you have it uh, uh, for the contract even, you, have the, you know the names, you have daily scrums, uh, you come to visit these people and they stay with you while you want that, actually. So they are mostly engaged with your culture, with your mission, with your values, uh, with everything you have in your team. Hyperion uh, offers like environment, uh, organizational issues, like everything, but they are your, like your team extension. Uh, you feel like it's your team, but just in another location. Interesting. So it's exactly like part of your team, but out, uh, outside. 
And it's nice to see, you know, I've been traveling a few times to Ukraine, most of the time to Kiev. And it's nice to actually compare Kiev and, and Kharkiv, where actually most of your developers come from Kharkiv. The company is Maltese. Uh, Stav, Stav the, the founder, is, she's an Israeli living in Malta, working with, with the company. Probably it's, it was for practical marketing reason to, to be based there. But the developer hub is in, in Ukraine. And I, I wonder, uh, seeing that Ukraine is such an interesting development hub, why to, not to choose Kiev? Why, why, why do you choose Kharkiv, which is a, a different city than, than, than where many of the other competitors go? Um, I'm a patriot of my co country, so I love all, all the cities. Uh, in Ukraine, we mostly have like three biggest uh, developments, I would say, cities. It is uh, Lviv, uh, Kharkiv, and Kyiv. So we chose uh, Kharkiv as it is uh, an educational hub. We have around uh, 10 universities, like in, in general, 15 universities all around Kharkiv, and 10 of them are providing technical resources. So. Every year we have lots of gradu graduates are in technical, uh, technical <coughs> different technical um, uh, professions, and so we have also different courses, uh, different uh, conferences, and uh, uh, as far as I understand, last year it was like uh, fifty thousand developers like on the market. Seventy percent of them are senior ones, so this is like. Oh, you can imagine that we have a great access to a great pool of developers in Kharkiv. Lots of uh, conferences, trainings, and people can actually grow. They can uh, uh, know something great. So there are lots of innovation in Kharkiv as well. So many. You, you do. You do need still to 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 improve the hotels there. Still not, you know, like uh, the same standards of, of other, other, other cities, but there's always room for improvement. And probably also because of that, maybe the, the, the cost of, of living is low, lower, and maybe the developer is more happy, you know, it's, maybe it goes together. So maybe. Uh, actually, yes, people, um, the population of Horkin is very young <laughs> because we have lots of students. Uh, we also have great hotels, so when you come, you can ask for recommendation. But uh, yes, the cost of living is. Uh, uh, a bit cheaper than in Kyiv, so people can enjoy their life more, I would say. But uh, it's, I think it's more because uh, there are lots of opportunities in Kharkiv. Interesting. Our last uh, topic, which can be also relevant, I think, to many of the people here, is, is, is talent. You know, we are, we are in a very specific niche industry. In, in Tel Aviv, there are lots of people who've been working in the financial industry, in the online, and then like, and suddenly there are lots of, of shifts between companies and uh, I wonder, you know, in your eyes, what is the best way to attract talent and to, to keep them to work in your company and to make sure that they're not moving and, and, and doing every year every another new, new job? Actually, retention uh, issue is, uh, I would say, the most challenging and greatest issue currently because uh, two weeks ago we went in London, it was e-commerce event and the most uh, uh, discussed topic was Retention. They were like the future, huge, right? The huge, future companies. Yeah, uh, huge companies, and uh, like uh, everyone knows their names, and they said, "Yeah, that's great. We can attract people, but it's sometimes it's very difficult to retain them." So actually, it's a uh, it's a great issue, and uh, in Hyperion, uh, uh, we try our best uh, to. Um, of course, we don't go crazy like uh, offering them uh, their own barista or like uh, everything. But Why not? Why not? That's the next step. Maybe it's coming. Yeah, yeah. we will see us like foreign and everything. But uh, we are actually pay a lot of attention when choosing these people, like then hiring them. We pay a lot of attention to their soft skills, how uh, like how the, uh, well they can communicate, how open they are, how they are like team builders in like uh, how they can uh, be a team. And it is really very important for uh, having people motivated and engaged in working in the company. We also have lots of uh, parties, uh, uh, but I would say like uh, our guys like more uh, many team building events like conferences. They can uh, know uh, like uh, Hyperion organizes uh, some uh, local conferences. We had a blockchain conference. Uh, uh, PHP conference, uh, so people can. Uh, we are planning a hackathon. Uh, we are planning some uh, technology quiz locally, so people can entertain. They can. Um, uh, they can also uh, find out more about like technology, what is happening in the world. We engage people to go to different trainings, to different courses. 
to come to uh, like and of course to be proud of the place we are working at. So Hyperion was uh, like for the second year we are in the top ten our best our, uh, Ukrainian uh, employers. So. Well, that's good. Thank you so much. So please join me and let's thank Malgo. I think it was a great session and thank you Malgo for your insight.